we recently published a study in which we looked at the impact of head injury on a protein that's known to build up in both Alzheimer's disease and chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. This protein is called tau. We found that cognitively impaired older adults who had a history of head injury, particularly those who had a loss of consciousness, had a higher level of this toxic protein tau than individuals who were cognitively impaired but did not have a history of head injury. The abnormal protein tau is closely linked to cognitive impairment, both in Alzheimer's disease and other types of dementia. Therefore, having a greater amount of toxic tau protein may make individuals more likely to progress to Alzheimer's disease or to have a faster disease course. The head injuries that we studied in this particular report are not necessarily those that you commonly think of as head injuries, such as those due to sports or to serving in the military. Instead, the reported head injuries that we looked at were secondary to things like falls, motor vehicle accidents, or other types of accidents. In other words, these were the everyday types of head injuries that might occur to you or a loved one secondary to some sort of accident. You may wonder what the impact of these findings are on you or a loved one and what to do if you or a loved one has a head injury. Our study suggests that these head injuries that occur due to falls or accidents are just as important to report to your physician as those associated with sports or being in the military, even if the loss of consciousness was relatively short. It's also important that your primary care and emergency room physicians understand that the resolution of symptoms of a concussion may not be the end of the road. In fact, having a history of a concussion may actually put you at higher risk for dementia. So it's important to take all head injuries seriously and report them to a medical professional as soon as possible. I truly hope in the future that we will have the ability to detect and to treat Alzheimer's disease and other dementias before the symptoms emerge and create a world without these devastating disorders.